Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. Basically today I will be taking you through the start game and money methods. Um, basically what we did in the last tutorial is we uh, did the display method for as they uh, come into the application. So all I want to do here quickly is I want to make a new method called uh, public void static and then say not uh, valid for the method name. And then I'm just going to copy this uh, part here, uh, calling the start game method um, from the form for uh, loop. Just there, go ahead and uh, put that down there. Why is that giving me an error? Oh, void is in the wrong place. So, void, and then it should work now. There we go. Okay, so now in the start game method, what we want to do is we want to get this to... Um, see what they selected as their menu choice so if they selected one it would uh, start the game if they selected two it would go to help and this is how you would differ differentiate um, if you had more uh, things so say instead of help I had more things like um, about exits etc um, it's just easier to do it like this so what we're going to do here is we're going to have an if statement uh, and then put else if over here and then else again uh, there we go and then basically in the top if statement we want to say uh, if this variable menu choice over here if they clicked one for start game so if menu choice is equal to one now remember you must use uh, a double or triple uh, equal sign if you put one equal sign it's assigning the value one to menu choice it's not seeing if it is um, so if it is then we want to go to the um, next method which would be the um, money method okay and if uh, menu choice is equal to two then we want to go to the help method ah wrong thing okay we want to go to help method <coughs> sorry and else if they selected something that's not in the uh, menu options we want to um, print out so print it out um, print out that is not a valid option and then we want to call uh, the not valid method so that it will um, repeat the part of printing out whatever is in here so the one start game two help etc whatever's in there it will print that out without printing out uh please enter your name welcome this so it only does this because that's the only thing that's in here and then it calls the start game method again and that's how it works um why is the off statement not working That should work now. Uh, I see. I had a um, bracket over here like that, but it's fine. Okay. So now we're done with the start game method and the uh, not valid method. So what we want to do now is we want to go into the money method. And basically, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the uh, variable money, and I'm going to set that equal to 500, uh, just for this sake. And then I'm going to print out on the screen saying you have rand plus the money variable plus um, to gamble with okay and then what I want to do is I want to get their bet option which is another well the option that they want to bet on which is a um, another method as you can see over here um, so I'm just going to call that method bet uh, option and yeah so that is it for this tutorial i will be going through the bet option and user bet um in the next tutorial and then the one after that we can hopefully finish everything up so yeah thank you very much for watching this tutorial uh, comment rate and subscribe see you in the next one